Hello ladies and gents, welcome to another episode of Peace Sheep. On this episode I want to show you how I wired the kid, my Jeep 2018 JKU. After plugging my 12 volt fridge in the back of my Jeep, I've noticed that the factory plug did not seem uh, strong enough to power uh, my fridge. So what I did is I installed a 12 volt uh, power outlet at the back, which is connected directly to the battery which should be able to power my 12 volt fridge even though my Jeep is not running. So I thought, well, might as well film this and show you guys how I did it. There might be other ways. Uh, I'm not an electrician or not a uh, professional by all means in that uh, field. So I'm applying what I've learned through my research. I did some research on the internet and I really think you need professional help. <laughs> so come along and I'll show you how I wired my Jeep and hopefully it might help you as well. What I'm installing is uh, and there's so many out there um, just a simple plug uh, because the way that JK is made at the back I felt that it would be better to just bolt in on top the uh, 12 volt accessory plugs. Uh, this one is a dual so uh, I'll be able to plug actually three things because the other one uh, the factory plug is will still remain at the same place also i'm putting an inline fuse uh, just to be safe uh, where i'll put a uh, i'm putting a uh, 10 amp fuse so if ever for whatever reason um, it shorts or it'll protect the circuit i'm putting a little switch here just to uh, shut the circuit down uh, whenever i don't need it so I've bought these roll of wires um, through Amazon. Uh, this as well. This little switch I bought at my local uh, Canadian Tire, which is a hardware store. I'm putting F connectors to connect at the back of the switch. This was bought on Amazon. This was bought at Canadian Tire. And these, these will hook up to the battery. With just a little bit of effort and a little bit of material, you'll be able to install a 12 volt accessory in the back of your Jeep. As mentioned, this is the uh, factory plug in. Doesn't seem to be powerful enough to uh, run a 12 volt fridge continuously while the uh, Jeep is not running. We'll install another plug, actually, a dual plug with a uh, higher gauge wire directly to the battery. We'll start by removing this panel here because inside of this panel there is a little place in the firewall that you can access and uh, fish your wire to go through. So we're removing this. If I zoom in right here this foam you can uh, fish a wire right through it and I'll show you how. What I did is I used a uh, clothes hanger and I just straighten it up you can just uh, fish this through and it'll go right underneath the hood because it is a uh, a bigger wire we'll uh, go one once at a time so what I did is I taped this uh, wire with the um, coat hanger wire so we should be able to bring it back should pull out like it it is right doing right now so there you go so you got one down so repeat the same thing with the red one so there you go so now both wires have passed through the firewall we just need to pass the, the wire down in the back here and go through the side of the uh, door seams. The wire's through. Then we'll just remove this panel and go through here. Just unsnap this panel, which will give us room to put our wire in. So just make sure that you have enough wire to go towards the back. We can put this back to its location 
Just snap it back. Just fish this through. This, remove this. See, you'll find your right here. After that, it's just a matter of popping your plastic back to its original place. To its original place. Put your put your plastic pins back. There you go. It's just the, car the carpet, so you go through the carpet. Uh, I would suggest it would be probably be a good idea just to tape your wires together, just to give, uh, just to organize them a bit. And then put your carpet back on top there make sure to put your plastic pin back right there just continue underneath the, uh, the carpet which will bring you right here in the back now to remove this panel to be able to install the, uh, the switch and the double uh, plugs, you have to remove this this thing here, I don't forget the name. Now to remove these uh, torque screws, if you have that little kit, that Jeep uh, that comes with your Jeep, this little kit here, get the T30 torque screw adapter and we'll just remove this uh, these two screws. Now once you remove that plastic, make sure that you undo this bolt and then everything will just pop out. So just use a 10 millimeter wrench or a socket. There you go. Then it just uh, pops out, but make sure that you're careful because of this uh, 12 volt socket that you'll need to uh, to unplug just undo with a screwdriver like this and it pops out just like that so I pre-marked my uh, socket the holes of my socket since the panel is off anyways I'll just bolt this thing onto onto the panel. A little bit of two-way tape, just to uh, give it a bit of a cushion and uh, to avoid the reduced vibration. So just make sure that they are aligned. I'll use the screws to uh, to guide to guide me before I stick these things in it. Let's put the bolt back with the uh, with the lock washer just so that it doesn't 
unscrew itself, screw this, tighten this up. That's not gonna budge from there. Just gotta put the switch right there. So essentially my bit, my drill bit has to be about that size to let the uh, switch in. So there's two ways to do it. Either you have the right size or you use these that are uh, that further you go, the larger the hole. That's what she said. <laughs> Is about the same size as this. So we'll try that. Just use this ring to mark the area where you want your switch. Then just then we'll just pre-drill a center hole. There you go. There. Perfect. So if my fridge is plugged and something falls, when it, especially going out in the trails, it'll get bumpy and things might move. So I don't want something to hit this as it is going down. So if I turn it around and, and I have it on and something falls, and turns it off then the fridge will be off and I don't want that so I'll make sure that I put it this way there's less chance of uh, of this turning off so once this is drilled and you put it, your switch there and there's all kinds of switches I've, I've shopped around there's so many switches that exist um, there are some square ones I thought that this the, the round one was easier to install as such, just give it a little nudge with, with the wrench, not too much. So there you go, nice and clean. So now we gotta connect everything. Now we gotta bring this, I'll make a hole right here. So just so that uh, this goes in here. It was a lot easier than that. Just bring this, these wires inside of here as such. There you go. Okay, so now to wire this. For these types of plugs, with the three prongs, the copper or uh, bronze colored prong is your negative. The second one is the power that comes from the battery. The one in the middle is your power, your red, usually it's going to be red, your positive. The third, the furthest prong away from the negative that goes to your to the item you want to power. In this case, goes to this, goes to these uh, sockets. All right, so let's hook that up. Put F connectors, or don't know what you call those. Okay, so now what I did is I I took the uh, negative coming from the battery and the negative from my sockets and I uh, welded them together into one here. And this one will plug into my socket. So I'm just uh, sealing this up with uh, with uh, shrink wrap and then uh, and then we'll uh, continue on uh, connecting our uh, toggle switch. Now this is all soldered and shrink wrapped. So that should be pretty good. So now we'll just put the, uh, what I call the F connectors. Not sure. I'll look it up. Not sure what, if that's the proper term.
So, this is done. So, so like I said, the ground goes to the first one. The power from the battery goes to the second prong, or the middle one. And then the last one goes to our switches, our connectors. Or so I'll just put a, uh, another F connectors here. Of course, now the, the birds are singing, so please enjoy them. So this is... And what I like to do is uh, I'll, I'll put some shrink wrap on all of these just to make them a bit more uh, sealed and secured. So now that we've uh, shrink wrapped all our connections, we're ready to connect to the to the toggle switch. So the brass looking one is our negative. So we'll put our negative. Our the one in the middle is the power from the battery. And the last one is the one that powers our apparatus. In this case, it's a 12 volt connector, accessory or cigarette lighter. This is not a cigarette lighter at all. So if you look here, these are all connected. Now that everything's hooked up, Reconnect our 12 volt socket, the factory one. Snapping this back in its place. the torque screws and then we need to reinstall this little bracket for the soft top the cover for the speaker or storage depending on what you have in your in your Jeep so now to hook up to the battery I want to put a fuse in for protection. So we'll just uh, splice this and connect the fuse to the red, the positive wire. And then the ground will connect to the ground on the battery. Now that my fuse is uh, connected, we just plug directly the positive to the positive of the battery and the negative or the ground to the ground of the battery. And I just just need to zip tie this together and voila it's all installed. For some reason that little light is not working. Turn it on. There you go. The light goes off. Turn it back on. So it works. So probably the LED on this little switch is defective. So now I'll be able to use my 12 volt fridge in the back of the Jeep. Hey guys, just want a little update. Since I filmed this uh, video, 
uh, I've had a little modification done to my panel. This is where my toggle switch used to be, and this is where it is now. Um, I switched it because the uh, the back here, because of my connectors at the back, if you have different connectors, it might be okay to put it there, uh, <clears throat> but they would rub and they would disconnect. And with that, I found out after using it a little bit. So now I've just transferred it to the side, which gives it a lot, a lot more room for the toggle switch for the connectors at the back. So before drilling there, I would suggest you guys to maybe uh, to try this one, unless you have a different type of plug and different type of connectors, which allow you to uh, install it on that side. Mm -hmm.